They're becoming a more common sight on our roads and they offer emissions-free driving, making you feel less bad about the environment. If you're considering going electric for your first or next car, here are six things you'll want to know first. Number one, take note of the difference between AC charging and DC charging. Just like how an internal combustion engine car needs fuel, an electric car will also need to be charged. But keeping your car's batteries topped up is not as straightforward as heading to the pumps. What you'll need to note here as a driver is that your car will charge at different speeds depending on the power source. So be sure to check on the specifications before deciding on an EV. For example, the Mini Electric will charge at a maximum of 50 kilowatts if you take the DC plug, but your charging speed tops at 11 kilowatts if you take the AC plug instead. But if you're driving the BYD E6, your charging speed will top at 60 kilowatts if you charge via DC current and 40 kilowatts via an AC supply. And there's another thing to keep in mind. Unless you head to a fast charging location, you're likely only going to get 7 kilowatts of AC power from a charger. At this rate, your car will take hours to get topped up. If you need to juice up your car in a hurry, make sure you head to the correct charger. Second thing you need to know, where are the chargers nearest to you? Even when plugged to a 50 kilowatt charger, most cars will take close to an hour to get topped up. We're sure you don't want to spend an entire hour waiting at a car park or petrol station. So, we would advise you to come up with a charging plan, mainly where and when you need to charge your car. What you can do is download a few charging apps from several providers and use them to source alternative locations that are close by. This way, if your favourite charger is occupied when you arrive, you can quickly look up the next best alternative and check if they are in use instead of waiting for the car ahead of you to leave the lot. Also, try to charge at different times of the day each time to take note of how crowded those lots are. From there, you can better plan out your charging schedule ahead of peak hours so you don't waste time waiting for your turn. Third thing you must know, ensure you can spare a little extra time for all your charges. Waiting times for an available lot aside, just because a car can charge at 50 kilowatts does not mean that it will maintain this charging speed all the while the car is plugged in. There will also be times where you've got little choice but to use a slower charger that's available. When you do get your car plugged in, charging speeds will drop depending on the temperature of the battery, its age as well as the current state of charge. So be sure to add in a bit of buffer time while you charge up your car to the desired levels. Fourth thing, take care of that battery. You've seen it happen to your smartphones. Lithium-ion batteries will degrade over time. In a car, that will mean decreasing range and that's not good. Here, we recommend you adopt some of the battery care advice given by the manufacturers. This includes charging your car up to only 80% when it's plugged in into a fast charger, leaving your car in a medium state of charge if you're not going to use it for an extended period, and parking your car in the shade when possible. Fifth and most important thing to remember, pedestrians won't always hear you coming. Here at SG Car Mart, we've driven quite the number of electric vehicles. We can most assuredly tell you there will always be someone that doesn't hear you coming. Make sure to take extra precaution when you're driving along narrow streets or at locations where there is high ambient noise. Just because electric cars come with high instant top does not mean you have to deploy them all the time. And here's one last thing you need to know. There's plenty of EVs out there with different levels of performance and battery capacity. That dual motor Tesla might look like just the thing to impress friends and family, but if you're only doing inner city commutes, there's plenty of other choices that are more affordable. Additionally, make sure you shop for something that has the range to fit into your lifestyle. If you don't have the time to charge your car during the weekdays, you'll need something with a larger battery and longer range. So with all that said, are you ready to take the plunge? Then head on over to our new and used car pages on sgcarmart.com to shortlist your next EV. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on TikTok for the latest happenings. For now, enjoy driving that new EV out the showroom and we'll see you at the next charging stop.